The master of suspense. And what is up, Stu Crew? John Based out here with the new Media Stu Movie Review, coming to you live from the streets of New York City, to bring you to the finest places with the finest people. Look who we got over here. I haven't been here in a while. It's Fran Campbell. And today we saw Hitchcock. Is this really going to be your next picture? Yes, madam. By the way, try the finger sandwiches. They're real fingers. I think actually it should have been called the Man Behind the Psycho. That's what it was all about, Stu Crew. The making of Psycho. <laughs> This movie starred Anthony Hopkins as Alfred Hitchcock, Helen Mirren as Alma, and you also had a bevy of beauties, including Scarlett Johansson mm -hmm. and Jessica Biel in this movie. A lot of prosthetic excellence was going on. Which works out good for a Hitchcock movie. Okay. Now, one thing I do have to say in here, you know that the famous sketch of the side of his face mm -hmm. that you know you would think he actually designed that himself for a Christmas card that he sent out one year, and that became now his trademark. Wikipedia. It's amazing, Stu Crew, because the thing is, you, you see Psycho, it's such a huge movie, you don't realize that he actually financed it himself. Who do I make it out to? Well, are we going to have to sell the whole house or just the pool? No studio would back him. He was actually laughed at, kept out of, you know, a lot of doors were slammed in his face. And, you know, the other... But his wife was behind him the whole time. Always. And she said, I'm with you in your successes, your failures, I'm behind you. I celebrate with you when the reviews are good. I cry for you when they are bad. What we always say here is the only way you lose is if you quit. And the one thing he didn't do, Alfred Hitchcock never did, was quit. Everybody knows who Hitchcock was, yet the man did not win an Oscar. I mean, he had a Lifetime Achievement Award. In 1979. But you, but you would think that he would win an Oscar. And here's a funny trivia thing. In most of his movies, he has a habit of using the initials BM for people. Do you Bowel know that? movement? Yes, that's what it stands for. You can't, it does not. It, exactly it does not. Yes, it does. And, and I'm not Wicked Johnny, so I don't... I, that is hysterical. That you, and that's because he always liked playing those little jokes on people. So he has it in there, and it stands for Bowel Movement. <laughs> I have to give this movie three stew pots. Number one, because I love the relationship between um, Alfred Hitchcock and his wife Alma, the loyalty, the trust, and the unbreakable bond that they have. I mean, that's what I think everybody really, really needs in their life. You've got nudity in there. Well, her breasts were rather large. It was a challenge not to show them. Number two stew pot is Anthony Hopkins became Alfred Hitchcock. More anger! More! And the number three stew pot is give it up. Yeah. You can walk the whole movie in that 45 degree back angle stance, you get a third stew pot. And an Oscar. How and ironic would it be if he gets the Oscar and Hitchcock didn't? Now you know on the site we had the trailer for Hitchcock up and popping up around <laughs> us now, all the people that wanted us to see this movie. So make sure to write in the comments below the next movie you'd like us to see on the New Media Stew Movie Review. And remember to like us, I know, us, but the film thing. And also retweet, retweet, retweet. Spread the word so we can get millions of views. And Stu Crew, until next Next time, much, much love, love and, and respect. respect. What's up, world? It's your boy Dave Storm, and you're watching New Media Stew with my boy John Based Out. Y'all make sure y'all get chunked. Hey guys, Daily Grace here telling you to subscribe to John Based Out's channel. Did you do it yet? Did you do it?